This is Frog in a Tree, Violin 2. First I'll play through the entire piece and then we'll go back to the beginning and take it apart bit by bit, uh, give you pointers, uh, things to watch out for, things to practice. Um, again, Frog in a Tree, Violin 2. Lucky for you, we have the same part as the first violin here. Uh, so the very beginning, the one through five, it's the same part as the first violin, so you're all together there. Uh, so this is, the rhythm is basically down pony up, rest, down pony up, rest, down pony up, pony, one, two, three, rest, etc. Okay, when you get to measure five, you're going to want to go back to the beginning because there's that there's a little repeat time in there. So beginning, rest. Repeat, beginning, rest, 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 retake, five. It's basically, most of it is just down, pony, up, pon pony, one, two, three, four, down, pony, up, pony, one, two, three, two, three, it's really low. Uh, five in a box. That was a little weird. <coughs> At eight, you're gonna use your first finger on the D. You can go ahead and leave it there, lucky for you. So, D. E, then your bow is just gonna go on over to the G string in the same bow. So, a slur. Not, not slurred. Also, this is, it's also important. This is why we tell you to make sure your first finger or your fingers are always on the tips, not on the pads like this. Because if you if you accidentally touch the G string with your first finger, it's not gonna sound pretty. Not allowed. That's why you need to be on the very very tip. So your string rings freely there. That's measure eight. Uh, we'll do a seven. And it keeps on going down. Uh, measure nine. Watch out for the for that slur. Fs, F sharp, D D D, slur, slur. Be sure you retake there and measure thirteen. Retake. A B A B A F sharp. Full bow. Sure, use your fourth finger there. A B A B A F sharp G F sharp G A. Don't use your op don't use your open. Not allowed. Why? Because it's gonna be. It just feels weird. 
Also, it, it's, it's hard for the A string to speak going from that G. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but you can feel it in the bow. It feels, it just feels weird in the bow and in, in, in the instrument. Um, and it's, and it's, and it's imperative again that you keep your fingers on the on your on your tips because if you didn't and you decided to play that open A string, not good. So which is why you gotta use your first finger. So uh, if you don't have a tape, it's just gonna be the space between your first and your second, in between your second, maybe your third and your fourth. Don't uh, don't touch it. Don't be three four touching. So you got one space two three four touching space four. That's where your fourth finger is gonna go. If if you if you have a tape there, congratulations, use that. If not, here's a whole set lesson one. Uh, thirteen. My third finger, so A A G C sharp, A A G C sharp D. Why? Because it's gonna be A A G. Because if you lift your third finger, and it's like meh, you have don't, your second finger is just gonna feel a little weird. I will leave my third finger there and then place your second finger on the A string. It might feel a little strange, but it's it's just like putting your your, your like two and three touching. But on different strings. I know it might feel a little weird, but I would leave my my third finger down. Uh, yeah, so it's 19. A A G C sharp D. Then your third finger just comes across. And then at 20, lift your fingers and play your two open A strings. At 19. Goes to 21, piano or piano, so you can't play that loud. You use the top, so usually we're using, we're using the full bow because we want that nice full sound. But this time around, since it's piano, we want to be using the top half of the bow. Don't use the whole thing, just the top half because it's very, very soft. Also, you don't want to be playing really close to the bridge because it's so loud. No, you want to be playing closest to the fingerboard, not over here, of course, but um, more like. Around there, kind of shadows cutting in the way there. Okay, you, you want to use just a little bit of the, like half your bow um, towards the fingerboard, this, this black part right here. Um, um, and don't press, don't have so much weight in your bow. So at 21, nice and soft. Just, y yes, it's down plenty, up plenty, but now you're using just the top half. So half of the bow, half, quarter, quarter, half, quarter, quarter. So half of the bow, quarter of the bow, quarter of the bow, half of the bow, up to the halfway point, quarter of the bow, quarter of the bow, don't use the whole thing, because it's piano. That's a lot. 21. Uh, yeah, so start halfway. I'm looking at the wrong part, so we're looking at 21, hey. It's gonna be really hard to play piano when you're doing op uh, double stops. You're open D and you're open A string at the same time. Twenty. Yes, I know. Uh, trust that your strings are gonna ring because they are. So you don't have to. You don't have to press down super super hard. And I used to do that, but you really don't have to. Uh, Twenty-seven. Two before twenty-nine. And it goes to forte at twenty-nine. So your first note at 29 is piano, two, three, forte, rest, 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 hey, rest, rest, retake, and piano.
that was a little tricky. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think that's harder than the first violin part. Don't tell anybody I said that. Um, but at 45, you're gonna want to do an old double stop, up straight to an F sharp, back to double stop, double stop, double stop. Okay, so you want to make sure your fingers get out of the way quickly enough, so you don't. Do all kinds of weird stuff there. 53. Uh, the first violins have this cool little doodad. Etc. etc. You have the cool part though. So you have rest, 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 rest. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you're gonna have a tendency to rush there, because you have the rest there. Ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta. So you're going to have to watch me, because I'll be a connector. Um, so you have to watch me at 53 and count and listen across. Okay, the first violins are all the other ones that have that, that figure. Okay, hopefully they don't rush. Um, so watch and listen so you don't rush there. Ba, rest, ba, rest, ba, rest, ba, rest, ba. Rest, ba. You have more time than you think. It's not as fast as you think it is, um, luckily. Okay, I uh, hope that helps. Uh, that was Frog in a Tree, the second violin part.